What's up, folks? It's your buddy Fiddle Ready tonight. We're going to be doing a Raw recap. We start off with Vince McMahon coming out. He talks about how Raw's been on the air for 25 years. He then goes on to introduce Stephanie McMahon, Triple H, and Shane McMahon. Stephanie McMahon addresses that they haven't been doing a good job as management, no shit, and says that things are going to be changing today. We'll just have to see about that. Triple H says all four of them will be taking over as management for Raw. Shane McMahon says that doubles for SmackDown Live. Triple H says that the WWE Universe will get what they want and that they are the authority. Oh lord, I'm getting to have a heart attack. End of the world. That's it. Goodbye. Once again, we'll soon see about that. Then Baron Corbin comes out. He sucks up to Vince McMahon. It is kind of hard to hear him though because the crowd are booing so bad. He says what happened to him last night at the TLC pay-per-view was not fair. Corbin goes on to ask the McMahons and Triple H to overturn the decision to remove him from power. Shane says no, Triple H says negative, Stephanie McMahon says there's no chance in hell, and before Vince McMahon starts up, Triple H doubles back and says he'll give him a chance if he can win his next match. Which out comes Kurt Angle, which is our first match of the night, Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. It's also announced that there's going to be a special guest referee, Heath Slater. Kurt Angle starts off taking it to Baron Corbin. When Corbin starts getting the upper hand, Triple H comes out and says it's going to be a handicap match. Bobby Roode, Chad Gable, and Apollo Crews come out. They come down the ramp and beat down on Baron Corbin. Everyone starts taking turns, tagging in and beating down Corbin. Then Heath Slater starts to check the turnbuckles to make sure they're safe. While he does that, everyone takes turns slamming down Corbin. Shane McMahon then comes out to announce that he forgot to mention that this is a no DQ match. Everybody starts grabbing chairs and starts beating down once again on Baron Corbin. Kurt Angle gets the angle slam for the pin. Rude Gable and Cruz grab a table, set it up, and Kurt Angle gives another angle slam through the table on Baron Corbin. This is actually a pretty decent start for Raw, but as far as this whole shake-up thing that's going on, we'll have to see for later on tonight and what's going to happen. We then have our next match, Finn Balor versus Dolph Ziggler. This match started off in a backstage interview at the TLC pay-per-view. This is actually a decent match. Halfway through, Drew McIntyre comes out. Dolph Ziggler and Finn Balor start fighting with him. The match continues, and Drew McIntyre attacks Finn Balor, causing a disqualification. He then takes his aggressions out on Dolph Ziggler. And it's later announced that we're going to have a triple threat match next week with these three people. I'll get into that later. Dude. We then have Bane Ambrose coming out. He talks about his match last night. He starts running down Seth Rollins. He then calls out Seth Rollins to have him admit that he was wrong. He doesn't come out. Then calls him out to a fight. He doesn't come out. And then has an open challenge for anybody else but Seth Rollins. Tyler Breeze then comes out, which is our now next match. As you can get, this is a glorified squash match. Dean Ambrose hit the Dirty Deeds on Tyler Breeze, got the pin. He gets on the microphone, runs down Seth Rollins some more. Then Rollins' music hits. The SWAT team line up at the bottom of the ramp, all of them but one, who gets in the ring, gives Ambrose a super kick, and reveals himself to be Seth Rollins. He continues to beat down Dean Ambrose. When the SWAT team comes in, he finishes them off. Can we please, please move on from this? I, like I said in the other video, the whole buildup was drawn out. I really didn't care for this match. I really don't want to see it again. Backstage, Shane McMahon tells Drake Maverick that he's getting rid of the obligated rematch clauses, which I highly agree with. They tie up the titles way too much, and we don't get to see anything new. He then tells Drake Maverick that we're going to have a fatal four-way tag team match, which is next. The AOP versus the B team. I'm surprised they're still around. Versus the Revival versus the Lucha House Party. What the fuck? Can't we get away from these two teams? Please. Please, put somebody else besides Revival and the goddamn Lucha House Party. All that being said, this was an eh match. The Revival got the Shatter Machine on Bo Dallas and got the win. So they'll be facing Chad Gable and Bobby Roode for the tag team titles. Thank God, finally we're going to be pushing the Revival, I guess. But knowing how WWE works, it's going to be a one and done. They're going to get a chance and then we're going to see 10 more weeks of Roode and Gable versus the B team or someone like that. We then have Ronda Rousey coming out. She talks about her match last night. Talks about Nia Jax, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch. And then goes on to tell us about what a real champion is. Bruh. She then issues an open challenge to where we switch to the gorilla position. And all the women from the Raw roster are up there fighting. Stephanie McMahon escorts them all out to the top of the ramp. And tells Ronda Rousey that we're going to have an eight women gauntlet match. To determine who's going to be facing Ronda Rousey next week. What? So this is going to be our main event for the night. Holy shit. We just went downhill fast. I'm just going to give you the quick and the dirty about the whole thing. Alicia Fox faced Bailey. Bailey won. Dana Brooke was next. Bailey beat her with a Bailey to belly. Mickey James came out. She beat Bailey. Ember Moon came out. She won with an Eclipse. Natalia came out. She pinned Ember Moon. Ruby Riot came out with the Riot Squad, who had some interference into this. 
Natalia eliminated Ruby Riot. Sasha Banks came out. The whole thing was drawn out then, but Natalia won with a sharpshooter on Sasha Banks. So she'll be facing Ronda Rousey next week for the WWE Women's title. Ronda Rousey comes out, she congratulates Natalia, and then we end tonight's Raw with Natalia standing at the top of the ramp, celebrating. There was one bit I forgot to mention, Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush were sitting there wasting time with Bobby Lashley posing, then Elias came out, hit Bobby Lashley on the back with a guitar, that was it. That's going to be bringing out a match next week, a miracle on 34th Street fight with Bobby Lashley and Elias. I am so glad we're shaking things up. We're seeing pretty much the exact same stupid fucking shit that we saw all year. Way to go, WWE. You're doing an awesome job. We opened up pretty good. It started off okay. Then it went kind of downhill and just straight out fucking sucked. As always, I'm going to be saying hopefully SmackDown will be doing a better job tomorrow. Hopefully we don't shake things up too much. There was also a video package with Lars Sullivan, Lacey Evans, Heavy Machinery, Nikki Cross, and EC3. They're going to be coming over to the main roster. So who knows where they're going to be fitting in. Hopefully they're not buried in quick order. But that'll do it for this episode of Raw Recap. I'll be back tomorrow for the SmackDown review. Leave a comment down below what you thought of tonight's Raw, what you thought of this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. (laughs) See ya. Shit. (laughs) Oh, Lord. I'm done.